October is National Pet Wellness Month. It's a reminder to take steps to ensure your furry friend is healthy and well so that they can live a long and happy life. Here are some tips to do that. Schedule an annual or biannual checkup if they haven't had one. Make sure they're spayed or neutered. Talk to your vet about any breed-specific health issues to look out for. Obesity is a common problem in dogs and cats and humans today. So uh, talk to your vet about what you can do if your pet is not at a healthy weight. Be sure they are up to date on their vaccinations and medications and consider getting them a dental cleaning. They need their teeth cleaned just like we do. If you don't have a pet, there's no better time than National Pet Wellness Month to volunteer or support animal welfare welfare organizations such as low-cost spay and neuter clinics or pet vaccination clinics. Indeed. Yeah, and I'm hearing you, everything you're saying, and it's mm -hmm. just like pets are human beings. They're children. They're your they children. They like human beings, yeah. yeah. So that means they got to check their tubes, too, if everything is okay, mm. check up with the doctors, well, the veterinarians. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, so um, what we got to check is our weather because yeah, it's going to be that. changing, and we got to get ready for those changes that are headed our way by Thursday into Friday. Uh, Thursday night into Friday, it's when we're having that cold front move in, mm. and it's expected to have moderate to heavy rain, so possible flooding for the Finally, days. Yolanda. Thank you, Yolanda. <laughs> Did you see the temperature drop? I saw that. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed rest of your Monday. All right, 104-year-old Chicago woman is believed to have set a record last weekend for being the oldest person in the world to tandem skydive. Dorothy Hoffner completed a jump at Skydive Chicago Sunday in Ottawa, Illinois, jumping from a plane roughly 10,000 feet off the ground at 104 years old. Hoffner topped the world record of 103 years old, which was set in Sweden in 2022. Officials with the company said they're working to have the jump certified by Guinness World Records. Hoffner flew with a U.S. Parachute Association tandem instructor. She didn't start skydiving until she was 100. Hmm. Wow. This is, totally, this is totally going to be you, Yolanda, when you're 104. Yeah, it is. I, I already know. went skydiving, and I still would like to go. I know, and you're probably going to live to about 120. And that so. goes to show that no matter how old you are, you could do something new. You can throw yourself from off, off the plane, yes. <laughs> okay, so those temperatures are going to be feeling like summer for today and tomorrow, and especially on Thursday. Thursday night into Friday is when we're expected to have that cold front move in. So also we could probably be seeing some flooding going on because that uh, that cold front could be producing lots of heavy rainfall for us in Webb County. And then by Saturday and Sunday, notice those lows in the upper 50s. Thanks, Yolanda. <laughs> I don't think I could see okay. this all month. Okay. Oh, the skull? Yeah, I don't want to see this all month. Well, we're going to keep reminding you that KGNS is inviting you to strap on your best pair of running shoes, or you could also walk. And it's all for a good cause. It's next Saturday, which is the 14th. We're partnering with the United Way of Laredo. It's the annual 5K Star Run and Walk is taking place on the grounds of Laredo College Fort McIntosh campus. That's the one that's downtown. Uh, registration is at 7 in the morning. The run starts at 8. You can register for $25 for this event. The proceeds go to United Way of Laredo. They serve 22 agencies in Laredo and surrounding areas. So if you want to register, you can scan the QR code on the screen or you can visit our website. And it begins at 8 in the morning. 8 in the morning. If you want to register at 7 in the morning, you can be there at 7 and in the morning. And it's next week. Next Saturday, yes, yeah. Yolanda. Okay. It's yes. going to be a great week and probably maybe our temperature's a little bit on the warm side, though. Not that the ones we're going to experience uh, this week. Our last year's run, it was a little cool. Oh. Yeah. Maybe we'll we have another cold front move during next week. Could be. That we got one good. this week, right? Everybody's excited about it. We I know. Get this even next... me, I'm excited. Yeah. Well, you're... Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, even will, me? You're I literally know, excited I'm about weather excited every about day, weather. Yolanda. So, uh, or, yeah, anyway. Okay, so um, getting to today, it is going to be summer. Once again, I know even the worm fall. It's going to be feeling like 107. There's that slight chance overnight being at a 20%. Then on Thursday in the afternoon, around 1 p.m., we're going to notice those wind shift to the north being at a 50% as well, those rain chances. And then at night, everybody's asking me, during what time is that 70%? So it's at midnight that we're gonna see that 70% continuing into Friday. So possible right. flooding. Definitely too. gotta keep an eye on that if you've got high school football games to go yes. to and to play, so forth and so on. Thank you, Yolanda. Thank you for watching, have a blessed day. Well, obviously this is what everybody's gonna be thinking about. This is the look at uh, I-35 at Shiloh. Definitely not what we would be seeing at this hour 
as this cold front moves through the area, Yolanda. So what else can we expect for, uh, expect for the rest of the day? So we're getting hit hard right now because we're having that thunderstorm move in. So I do have the graphic there where it's showing those areas that are getting affected by that thunderstorm. Um, and then throughout the night and evening hours, it's going to be dropping those rain chances into a 50 to 30 percent. So mm -hmm. you do see that graphic right yeah. there. It does show you Del Mar. And now more of Laredo is getting those showers and thunderstorms. That's why we heard that thunder. Probably people are seeing some lightning up in the sky. And then this is our day planner. You do see those rain chances. You said there was a football game. Yeah, and look, they're 50 to 30 percent. There's possible thunderstorms at night. You, you did say if it's rainy, it's okay. But there's possibility of thunderstorms. And you hear those sirens already. People yeah. need to be careful while driving. And then tomorrow there's those slight chances. It's going to be feeling a lot cooler than compared to today. The important thing is that it's bringing cooler temperatures. Yeah. That's what matters. You but you need to drive safe right now. We're not used to this rain. Definitely. This is uh, Loop 20 at Casablanca. Again, you see people slowing down out there. Uh, definitely you want to drive safely, but don't slow down to Look a crawl. Fast because those drops are like falling. Yeah. You do see the wind. You could feel the wind. Obviously, too. and we do hear sirens here for some reason. So uh, please be careful out there. If you don't need to go out right now, don't do that. Yolanda, I know you'll keep us updated. Thank you much. Yes, I will. All right. Be careful. Have a blessed day. Bye. Well, Japan's Mount Fuji is capped with snow for the first time this season. A local weather observatory in Yamanashi Prefecture said the season's first snow cap on Japan's tallest mountain came five days later than last year. A staffer at the Kofu local meteorological office visually confirmed snow accumulation around the summit at around 7.30 in the morning. The office said snow fell intermittently in the area October 4th after the temperature fell below freezing the night before. Mount Fuji straddles Yamanashi and Shizuka prefectures in central Japan. It's going to be a very beautiful mountain covered with mm. snow. Am I missing something here? What? What are we why, missing? Why is this a story? Why is it a story? Yeah. It does Don't mountains weather. have snow on top? No, not all. Or is the story that it, it came five days it later than you? how cold it is on top, like, mm. in order for snow to develop, too. Will we, say, will we see snow this year? So, we're, uh, the system of El Nino is in our forecast. Um, there could be some snow in northern parts of Texas mm. getting, probably. There's some hope. There's a hope, but you not know. this weekend. Here. No, not this weekend, Ruben. It's just going to be pleasant for us. You do see that by next week on Friday, we start to see those rain chances, meaning that there's another cold front. All right, good job, Yolanda. Thank you very much. Thank you for Have watching. A Have weekend. a great weekend. Yeah. <laughs> well, Columbus Day is a federal holiday. Many states and cities are celebrating the day as Indigenous Peoples Day. It goes by National Native American in California and South Dakota, but it is otherwise known as Indigenous Peoples Day in many parts of the country, from helping the pilgrims survive a harsh winter to speaking in a code that helped the Allies win World War II. Today is a day to honor the contributions of Native Americans. It falls on the same day as Columbus Day as a way to honor the people already living in the country when Christopher Columbus landed in 1492. The influence of Native American culture can be seen just about everywhere dancing that they're doing, hitting the drums, the music. We can't hear the music, right, but Not the sounds of the... Yeah. It looks very nice. Okay, Yolanda, is it raining right now? Um, no, if any, no. So oh, at really? night, it's when we're expected to get more of that rain chance. Um, if any, they're going to be isolated to scattered. And then tomorrow, so according to the Weather Prediction Center, um, excessive rainfall could be possible for us for tomorrow. So just keep that in mind, flooding. So since the morning hours, though, morning into the night. Is it going to be humid on Thursday and Friday since it's yes, in the 90s? it is going to be humid. And welcome to the mosquitoes. <laughs> no, but then we're having another front. I know. Sounds good, Yolanda. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. Have a blessed Monday. Bye. Yeah, we're having another the Powerball jackpot has soared to an estimated $1.73 billion after no big winner was drawn last night. This marks the second largest prize in the lottery's history. Monday's winning numbers, 16, 34, 46, 55, 67. The Powerball was 14. The drawing drew more than 3.7 million willing, winning tickets at lower price levels, lower price levels, including a $2 million prize in Florida and four $1 million prizes in California, Indiana, Oregon, and Virginia. The next drawing is tomorrow. And I, I, I matched the Powerball on Saturday. I won $12. Oh, that's cool. But I didn't win anything last night. So Aww. I'll try again for Wednesday. So that day. means people need to go buy the Powerball ticket? 1.7 something. I don't remember. Yeah. 
but it's good. Yeah. It's good. What's good is the rain, too, right? Yeah, that's Ruben? awesome. Yeah. yeah. That is the lottery. Yep, it is. Well, <laughs> for some di- some people have different opinions, yeah, yeah. right? So I just want to show you uh, guys where the showers are located. So from Webb County, Zapata, all the way into Corpus Christi, San Antonio is probably going to get some of that rain too, and Houston. And this is for the next seven days, Ruben. Nice. Keep it coming. Thanks, Yolanda. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye. This weekend, you can be a part of making change in our community through United Way of Laredo. We are only a couple of days away from our annual 5K Star Run and Walk, brought to you by your good neighbor station in United Way of Laredo. It's happening Saturday, Laredo College, Fort McIntosh campus. The run starts at 8 a.m. If you want to secure your spot early, scan the QR code that you see there on your screen. On the big day itself, the entry fee for everyone is $25. All those proceeds do go to United Way of Laredo. The registration link and information can also be found on our website at KGNS.TV. It's getting closer and closer, Yolanda, and I know the weather is going to clear up just for our run walk. Yeah, and make sure they scan that QR code that mm-hmm. we just had up. Um, it, it is going to be cloudy during mm-hmm. the morning hours. Probably our temperatures are going to be in the 60s because that, that's the moment we're having that cold front move in. So Friday night into early Saturday some showers and thunderstorms that's why i do have for friday into saturday but then it's going to become mostly cloudy to partly sunny and we do see that our weekend's looking great with those highs in the low 80s and our lows in the low 60s today mostly cloudy expected to reach a high of 82 then get ready for that summer feeling for thursday and friday for friday it's going to be feeling like 102 even though our high says 94 ruben okay well, it's not hundreds <laughs> yeah. i mean it is feels like it's right? gonna feel like but it's friday. okay because there's more cool weather on the way all right, thanks a lot. And thank you for watching. Have a blessed rest of your Wednesday. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs> I never say bye-bye. Why did I say bye-bye? Nation and United Way are teaming up for the annual 5K Star Run and Walk. It is happening this Saturday. That's October the 14th over at the Laredo College Fort McIntosh campus with the run starting sharp at 8 o'clock in the morning. Now, if you want to secure your spot early, you can just scan the QR code right there on the left-hand side of your screen. Kids ages 10 and under can register for just $15 before the event. Now, on the big day itself, once again, this Saturday, the entry fee for everybody is $25. All proceeds go to United Way of Laredo. The registration link and information can also be found on our website at kgns.tv. And Yolanda, I know you said slight chances of rain Saturday morning, or what are you thinking? Yeah. It's going to be Friday night into early Saturday. The slide chances would be Saturday all the way up to 12 p.m. So maybe those rain chances. Some spots are just going to stay dry. So okay. there's going to be lots of moisture. So that's why there's that possibility of showers and thunderstorms and we have that cold front. So when warm air, there's enough moisture crash into that cold air, it causes these thunderstorms for us. So just okay. for Friday night into Saturday. Saturday, we do see that slight chance. And it's going to bring cooler temperatures for the weekend. So it should be partly uh, sunny for us on Saturday, a high of 80. It is going to be on the cool side in the morning because we're having that cold front and those winds coming from the north. Okay, well, but if nothing else, it's going to be nice temperatures. To uh, yeah. One, two, three. This year's Angel of Hope was unveiled at Laredo Medical Center Yesterday, it pays tribute to the people who are battling cancer. The artist selected for this year was Linda Lamantia. She spoke with our cameras about where she drew the inspiration from when it came to naming this piece. But more than anything, I kept thinking about the small children and the parents as they as they worry about their children, watch their children sick, and. and want and pray so much for them to be healed. I thought about the doctors and their healing touch and that's what I try to convey through the angel of the hope and the faith and the healing touch. Well, the painting will hang inside LMC's Cancer Treatment Center. So, you can go check that out if you want to visit. Um, it's October, of course, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, among amongst other awareness, but breast cancer is so important to raise awareness because of uh, the fact that it, early detection is key. And it was a very beautiful art very piece beautiful that she piece created. Of art. So everybody's asking you, Yolanda, what's, what's the weather going to be like tomorrow? tomorrow? So many events. Exactly.
because they're going to the 5K run. So it is going to be, I would say, nice weather to go for a run. But we're expected to get some showers and thunderstorms tonight, continuing into Saturday. For Saturday, it would be all the way up to 12 p.m. that we're expected to get those rain chances. And they're going to be isolated to scattered. Some spots will remain dry. But look, it's going to be a pleasant weekend. And those lows in the... Halloween is not just for people anymore. The animals at the London Zoo are getting into the Halloween Halloween spirit as well. Okapis went foraging through pumpkins for some treat. Zookeepers stuffed the gourds with their favorite snacks. Polly Dolly and Priscilla, three Galapagos tortoises, also joined in on the ghoulish fun. And tiger teen Zach and Crispin smelled their way to a cinnamon and nutmeg scented pile of pumpkins. Well, they just... Uh, well, yeah, but they just gave them pumpkins. I thought they had dressed them up. Oh no. No, they just gave Look them at the pumpkins. faces they have. They're super cute. The pumpkins. Yes. Yeah. Have you ever carved one? I have, yeah. Yeah. I think probably this week we're going to carve some, right? Are you really? I Possibly, don't know. Possibly, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so our temperatures for this week are expected to stay in the 90s, warm and humid conditions, and also those rain chances return by the middle of this week, Thursday and Friday better, from a 20 to a 30 percent, but get ready for next week. Those changes are headed our way. Okay, we do have reports of a crash that happened over on Mines Road and Killam Industrial Boulevard. That one is causing a significant traffic backup going southbound on Mines Road that comes to us from the Laredo Police Department. They do have officers on the scene directing traffic, but it looks like uh, quite a mess from the pictures we've seen. Also, AEP has not shown any numbers yet, but we're getting reports into the newsroom of a power outage in the 359 area. We do have uh, one of our reporters headed out there to find out. Uh, well, actually, there's one that says that there's no streetlights working in Jackman or, or University Boulevard. So a couple of things happening um, at, at this uh, at this hour. So we'll keep you updated in our later newscast, Yolanda. Um, so far, no rain for us. It will be in tomorrow all the way up to Friday that we're going to start to worry about that rain. Those warm temperatures will continue. Then next week, we're going to notice that drop in our highs. Oh. Raining on Halloween? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe some rain. We do the see The trick-or-treaters did not want to hear that. <laughs> and before you go, singer Michael Bublé, newest release isn't a song at all. It's a drink. It's called Fraser and Thompson North American Whiskey. The 84-proof blended whiskey is bottled in Kentucky. The Grammy-winning artist says he created the whiskey brand with his friend, master distiller Paul Circa. Bublé says the brand's name comes from the... Fraser and Thompson Rivers in British Columbia. He spent summers there where he was a child. I'm not a very big fan of whiskey. Easy or now. Michael it's not Michael Bublé. how it says easy. It's not Monday. <laughs> easy now, Justin. Easy now, Yolanda. What's not going to be easy is if you're going to go trick-or-treating this week, well, on trick-or-treating day, which is on Tuesday, because it's going to be cold, and there's those rain chances too as well. It looks like we're going to have Christmas on Halloween. Well, Laredo Christmas, Halloween you Christmas. would say Laredo Christmas temperatures. <laughs> thanks a lot, Yolanda. Uh, thanks for joining. this but the texas rangers clinched the franchise's first world series title last night they defeated the arizona diamondbacks 5-0 in game five of the 2023 world series the game was scoreless through six innings but the rangers ultimately won the best of seven series four games to one following that nail-biting affair in phoenix in a, that's exciting news and i know i it's was exciting. thrilled yeah i've been a fan of the rangers uh, ever since uh, nolan ryan was pitcher there but the uh, interesting fact about this team they went 11 and 0 on the road. They did not lose a game on the road wow. in this uh, in this uh, playoff series up to the World Series championship. And now so they won. Yeah, they're World Series champs, and they've got that monkey off their back. 63 years. The 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 uh, franchise I think started in 1961, and they've never won. And you slept late, and you still came. Slept late, and I still showed up. So yeah. I was sleepy, but it was worth it. Yeah, and we I had a moment of silence too for them because they won. Well, you don't well, want to be silent. You no, want to be no, no, yeah, I know. I've been seeing lots of videos where there's people really? in Texas like, hey, Texas. Yeah, yeah that they want. All right, thanks, Alonda. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Have a blessed.
Well, now let's take a look at our final weather. How's it going to be looking for us for the next coming days? For today, it is going to be pleasant in the upper 70s, partly sunny for us, and then at night dropping into the 60s. That warming trend continues all the way into early next week for Sunday. Don't forget to change those clocks. An hour back around 2 a.m., a high of 86 and then a low of 66. For Tuesday and Wednesday, our highs are expected to range in the low 90s. And then for Thursday, those rain chances return back to you. All right, Yolanda, thank you very much. And thank you for watching. Have yourselves a blessed rest of your Friday and a blessed weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Well, if you love Taco Tuesday, you'll be happy to know that today, Monday, is National Nachos Day. Nachos can be as simple as chips covered in cheese or loaded with beans, salsa, sour cream, and other stuff. They were first created by Ignacio Nacho Anaya in 1943 at a restaurant near Eagle Pass. To satisfy your nacho craving, have some today and share a picture on social media with the hashtag National Nachos Day. Yolanda? It's the first time. It's 12. Yeah. Let's go for some lunch. Nachos for lunch. <laughs> I did not know that the creator was from Texas. Oh, very nice. Yeah. And then they did His name was Nacho. Nacho. Nacho nacho. nacho Let's get cheese. some nachos. <laughs> nacho cheese. Yeah, that was yeah, a good one. Yeah. Um, so it's very nice. Very nice. The yeah, yeah. cheese and the oh, nachos. And the weather. Now, oh, the, the weather. Oh, the weather was very the nice. Weather's the weather's not going to be nice. Well, if they like the warm temperatures, it's going to be nice. Make They're going to like the, the nice. But okay. if it's going to be cold, people that love the cold, they'll, they'll say exactly. it's nice weather. Right. So for tomorrow, Ruben, <laughs> taste of summer, not taste of nachos <laughs> in the 90s. And then Thursday, we start to see that that temperature is struggling to be in the 90s. Uh, Thursday into Friday, we have that cold front moving in. Thursday night, that 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms continuing into Friday. But then, look, you, you see that drop in our highs in the 60s and our lows in the 50s. I like it. I like it, Yolanda. Thank I you very much. It. Thank you for watching. <laughs> have a blessed rest of your Monday. And continue watching. Yeah. <laughs>